All right, guys, thank you guys for tuning into this today's video. Um, we're going to be using a PowerPC Mac um, G4 or G5. G3 is too slow. Um, I don't think it even will work. You need Mac OS Tiger. Uh, uh, I say just make it up to date. Um, if you do get a lib USB air, you will have to install Xcode, I think 2.5 for Tiger. We need a iPhone OS X 3.6 or 3.5A. You need an iPhone, um, not this one. This one, this one, as it's been freshly installed, uh, iOS 3.1.3. And I'm just gonna recommend for if you're watching this, please watch fully before you do anything, as there's room for an error. So, firstly, you're going to put the device into DFU mode. It should give us that air because we're just trying to read it, but it didn't. All right. Oh, I think, yep, there we go. Press option and restore. Now, this is where it's kind of weird. So we can choose 1.1.4, 1.1.3, or 1.1.2. I'm gonna go in the middle, 1.1.3. Just watch. Um, for some reason, you can't, like, it doesn't work properly. Like, if you go to 1.1.1 or 1.0.2, you get, like, a, like an error. But you can't jump out of um, recovery mode. But for these ones, for some reason, you can. And then you can downgrade to, like, if you just do it now, it will just keep you on the iOS 3 thing and won't even budge. But if you do it for the 1.1.4 or 3 or 2, uh, threes, I'm going to put in the description down below. It's what I recommend. It's what I've been using. Um, it gets it on iOS 1. And they'll be using um, the iPhone in a little bit. But we're going to let the phone do its thing. I'll be right back. All right, now since we got the 1015 error, it looks to be on, you know, we are going to, sometimes it just doesn't work the first time. We'll have to re, um, redo it. So we're going to activate and downgrade and risk 2.5A to these two. Um, for some reason doesn't, not sure why, but that works. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna come back. It's still on this. This is kind of like a common recurrence that I've seen. Um, all I have to do, don't worry, is just once we do that, give it like a few seconds. I'm going to restore it again to the same version. So, like I did, I'll do 1.1.3.
and then we're going to let it do its thing, and then it should let us do it one more time, and then it should be working perfectly. And then once we get it like to the activation screen, you can basically upgrade it or downgrade it to any version of iOS one you like, like 1.0 and it's sub versions or 1.1 and like beyond, so like 1.1.4. Once you want to stay in the version you downgrade it to, like just straight to 1.1.4, you're okay. And since we got the 1015 air again, I'm going to go uh, reopen the iPhone. Now, either you can click do it all, or you can just go to advanced and just do activate and depending on the version. I'll say just do these two. And then it's just going to do its thing again. But this time, it should go back to that screen. So I believe from last time we just only like installed part of the operating system because it's missing the bootloaders, and that's just, just doing it again and unlocking it. And the first time it allowed us to, in some way, just work to work, and then now it's going to just do its thing. We'll be right back. Now, the iPhone does take a while to do things, so um, even right now, it's been like 15 minutes from the two restores and two versions of these. So maybe like a 20 minute long, because you have to do this three times if you want to like go to like a lower version of iOS. Now, 1.1.1, for some reason, it doesn't work like the other two, so... It's 1.1.2 and above to like 1.1.4 and because it for some reason it allows you to install it without any hassle but 1.1.1 and 1.0.1 and above for some reason don't work and if you go from 1.0 to any of them it might work i've had like very slim chances but um this method works flawlessly Now it will take a little bit longer now to boot up because it is actually booting into iOS. And if you just want to like activate it like right here, I'm just gonna show you real quick because we will have to go here. Um, we're gonna take the phone off the screen. You can click off of this first. Um, if you want, just go here and here. It should just redo everything. I'm gonna just click activate, but I'm waiting for iTunes to do its thing, you will want to wait for that iPhone screen. What the iPhone screen is going to do is just going to allow the iTunes to see the phone, and so we can do this. I'm just press start process, and then the phone, I'm just going to put it right back here, and then it will just unlock the phone so we can activate it. Well, we'll be activating the phone. I don't know, it'll look something like this in the end. This is a, uh, I'm not sure what this one is. 
This is 1.1.1. It's still some. This the version wouldn't allow you to, but um, yeah, for some reason, 1.1.2 and above work fine. You need to downgrade them, but like anything below is finicky. Okay, so now it is. It should be activated. Now you can only do a DFU restore or a recovery, not a recovery, just like a like base like, like this. You can see we have done everything we've done. It is now 1.1.3. 1 .1 I want to go back to iTunes, right? And let's say I want to go to 1.0.2. Now, I believe it will give us the same errors before, but it, we won't have to do it twice. We can just do it one time. Just do e phone. Now, if you wanted just to, we can just do this. For some reason, it takes a little bit on this G4. I can just do option restore. I'm going to do 1.0.2. And it should work. If not, you get errors warning. You have to do a DFU restore. It, it's just pretty weird like that. I've been, I, but if it's on 1.0, any version of iOS 1, um, you can just restore it back to any. See, look, this is when you're not in, I think, recovery mode. So I was wrong on that. Um, at least it puts you in recovery mode. I was wrong on something. Okay, we'll try one more time. If not, you have to be in DFU mode. Okay, so yeah, you have to be in DFU mode to downgrade. That's kind of weird because I know some versions you can just wing it in um, recovery mode. So I'll put it in DFU mode. All right, hopefully I put, did it in the right frequent, uh, the right timing. There we go. And then we're going to click the version you want to downgrade to. Now, if you're upgrading, you could just do option restore and upgrade to the version you want. But if you want to go to lower than 1.1.3 of the version you pick, you do a DFU restore to like, you know, if you want to do 1.0, 1.1, and these three other versions. I'm going to do 1.0.2, and it's where I want it to be. And then we're going to let it, I'm going to let it do its thing. And then we'll be right back to finalize the video. Now, Air 1013 is somewhat basically as 1015, but it's basically for the older versions. If you just get this screen, I'll just show you real quick. You can just do these two. And we're gonna let it do its thing one more time and then we'll hit activate. So we'll be right back. iTunes. We're gonna keep uh, the iPhone open. We're trying to click off of this, so it's just activating only. Since we're on our, on our attended version, we all I have to do is just let it see. All right, and then back to the iPhone. Press simple and then advanced because for some reason it doesn't automatically just do it. So. Automatically show back up. 
So we're gonna do its thing one last time and the phone should be ready to go. But I wanna show you one last thing before we go. So if people have stick through this whole video, I have a little thing to show you. So you don't have to use um, iBricker. Oh yeah, we're gonna let it do its thing and we'll get it back. Now, since it is done, you're on 1.0.2. Just click over here and click out of this. And basically any version of iOS 1, you can install apps and stuff like that. Um, sometimes this actually shows up. This is breezy. Um, so for some reason on this, on my computer, um, I'm not sure if it's this version or not. There we go, this one. It should pop up. If not, um, I will most likely make another video on this when I can get it to work. Because there is a, a version that it works on. I'm going to sync this with my computer first. But I will leave it in the description if you want to tinker with it. Let's see this but in a way, but I'm not too sure. Um, I just want to do this. Quit. Open it back up. Yeah, no. Okay. I know if we just find sometimes when it shows up, it works. I'm not sure why today out of all days, it doesn't want to work because I had this working on a different computer. Well, um, as I said, it I'll have it in the link description below if you want to tinker with it. Um, this is how to, you know, downgrade your iPhone 2G to iOS 1 or any version of iOS 1 on your PowerPC computer. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It really helps uh, me reach new people on the internet. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.